Hey everyone, today I want to demo my height blend section of my material where I'm able to control the height blend between layers as well as change where and how it blends. So let me show you how the setup works. And not only that, we're then able to take this and bake it into a texture that we can then displace with. So this once again uses my material system that I've designed. One of them is the height blend. So this uses a texture height blend. So this is currently using a Megascans brick texture. And it also uses, of course, all of the stuff that comes with it. It's normal and it's three channels, which is the occlusion, roughness, and displacement. So I'm using its roughness, the I mean occlusion, and I have a height in the displacement. So what I'm able to do is in my second layer, I have a height blend and I've told it the range where I want it to go. So right now it's going from zero to one, which is from zero for black to all the way to white. And if I want it to only go to a certain point, I can now adjust this value. And you can see it is changing. If I change it to a cube, it would probably be easier to see. But unlike a lot of blends where you can only decide where if you want it from the bottom to a certain value, here I can go into a range. So if I want, I can go only up to here and then push up the bottom as well. So I can entirely pick the range in the black and white where I want this. Not only that, but in the actual layer, so because I have this height node right here, I can also place in its height because of course the brick has a height information, but so does whatever this is that you put in. So in my case, I have this just dirty rock thing that I decided to use. But this also has a height information, right? Because you got it from Megascans, it's tileable texture, you might as well use that information. So, so not only does it both of them have the texture information, but you're also able to grade that information. So if, for example, it goes, actually the lowest point isn't zero, it's like 0.3, I'm able to change the lowest point to 0.3, which now of course adjusts these, which means I can now go from zero to six, eight is the new values. They have, I am able to remap the lowest and the highest, which means these of course change. And this allows you to uh, take a small range and make it wider. So if it, your entire texture is from 0.4 to 0.6, you can say, it make the 0 0.40, make the 0 0.6 higher, and there you go. But now I'm able to do the same thing. It's just the two values are different. But the main thing is once you have this, let's say I'm happy with it right here. This is where I want it, okay? This is the amount of dirt I want, this amount of bricks I want. I now wanna bake this down and use this as a displacement for this mesh. So here I have a blueprint that I created where I just input my render texture target and my material and then all I need to do is open my material layer and then in the controls, I have a bake height checkbox. If I check this on, effectively what I have done is I have said, this is the height information, right? You could see here's the height information from the, from the layer above. Here's the height information from the brick and you see how it blends. Um, if you place the height information, let's say between 0.4 and 0.5, it will crush your original texture to fit between that range. So you will never get a value of, of this dirt, for example, higher than the value of this brick if you've specified it to be so in the layer. So this allows you to make sure that everything is correctly in position. And then once you have this checkbox turned on and all you need to do is just move it back and forth. I mean, it doesn't have to be back and forth. I just need to update it in a certain way. Once it's updated, I just go to the render target and there it is. Here is my render target. So this is the, I have a 4K texture that I've been outputting and this is the exact same texture you just saw. So now what we can do is, is go to the render target, right click and just say, create a static texture. And bam, just like that, we have a nice texture of this material. So I can just open up the plane. And in my case, I've just copied the default plane. And now I can, in fact, place it in as a displacement map. So in here, we go ahead, select this texture, place it inside, trim relative error 0.05, magnitude 10, just to see it. Uh, apply, give it a moment. 
and 10 is clearly way too high. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this down to something a little more reasonable, to maybe one. And depending on how big your uh, mesh is and how big your texture is, uh, this process uh, to apply this displacement might take longer or shorter. And you can see there, there's all your detail of your displacement in here. Okay. Camera. And since it's nanite, it is nicely performant. So now, if I go back here, this is the actual mesh, and there you go. I now have the displacement with the height information I just put in. You can see the rocks are a bit higher. The rocks are displaced. The bricks are displaced. Now the rocks are higher than the bricks because that is the height information we have put in based on that tiling texture. And the only thing left to do is just to go back in here, turn off this fake height, and then we're back to our original texture with the height information that we needed. And just like that, we have a far higher resolution texture and information that all work together seamlessly. Now, as always, if you wanna know how this is set up and would like a, a tutorial on it, please let me know in the comments below and I will be happily show you how this whole process is done, including this setup for the texture baking. And with that, Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell. It really helps me out, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.